An Introduction to the Bible, A Journey into Three Worlds by Christian E. Hauer and William A. Young Messiah The inscription Pilate had affixed to Jesus' cross, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews, was supposed to inform passers-by of the nature of the charge for which he was perishing in such agony. It reflects the datum found in both Josephus and Tacitus, that Jesus was regarded by some as the Messiah. We have noted that the most common Jewish messianic notion was that God would restore the anointed Davidic line to the throne of Israel, and, in the process, restore the Israelite kingdom. In some schemes, the days of the Messiah were a period of preparation for the realization of the heavenly kingdom on earth, the world to come. The Christian Apocalypse, the Revelation to John, shares this pattern, though the terminology is somewhat different. And the usage of some documents is ambiguous, with Days of the Messiah and World to Come used interchangeably. We have seen that the Dead Sea sect was more interested in the restoration of the anointed high priesthood, the Messiah of Aaron, than in the monarchy. Other figures were associated with the Messianic Age. Elijah would return to announce it Malachi 4 verse 5, Matthew 11 verse 14, C.F. John the Baptizer's costume in Mark 1 verse 6, Matthew 3 verse 4. A prophet like Moses Deuteronomy 18 verse 15 might have played a part in some expectations. Some also looked for a Messiah of Joseph, i.e., the Joseph tribes, who would help prepare the way for the Davidic Messiah. A general restoration of prophecy could have been expected in some circles, but folk religion apparently ignored the Pharisaic notion that it had ceased in the age of Ezra. But when Messiah is mentioned without qualification in Jewish sources, it is the Davidic Messiah who is meant.